What can we do with art that is created by artists who are monsters? My first encounter with uh, Nicolas Gombert was singing a piece of his with an early music vocal ensemble. Uh, the piece was entitled Media Vita, In the Midst of Life, We Are in Death. It's one of his most famous pieces. Uh, and I was uh, struck by just the overall sound of, of the music. It's, it was so low, sonorous, all these intertwining uh, melodies that just kind of went in together with each other. I did some digging, I learned that kind of a little bit about who he was as a person, and then I came to this one detail that I wasn't expecting. He was fired from his very prestigious position for violating a boy in service to the emperor. This changed my whole view on him as a composer, on him as a human. I still enjoyed listening to his music though. I still found it profound, I still found it deep, I still found it uh, moving, but these experiences were now tinged with the knowledge of what he had done during his life. So for this project, I decided to address this friction head on. So I've never written lyrics before and it was a really cool experience to not only do that and kind of write in a register that's different from what I usually um, write my poetry in, but also to hear it for the first time was very cool. So I've never heard my poetry performed and so hearing what Alex did with it, what the music and the musicians, hearing what they did to it, you know, taking this horrible, horrible persona, horrible subject matter, and making it so beautiful to listen to, but also so unsettling was a very cool experience. It was really an amazing experience to be able to study this music. Um, I originally jumped in as I normally do with music and just started learning the notes and the words. And I got about a page two pages in and I thought, what on earth am I singing about? Um, and I had to go back and I had to sit with Ray's poetry for several days before I could really bring myself to get back into it again. One thing I really love about Ray's choice of words when writing this is that she didn't make it flowery. She didn't uh, leave anything up to interpretation. She just bluntly said everything. And I'm one that really appreciates bluntness. Um, and in this particular case, I think it's needed. Is a melody less lovely when crafted by destructive hands? This is a real question. Everyone has their own answer, and I don't expect to, to create one one-size-fits-all answer with this piece. I mostly just want people to think about it. I want people to think about uh, what they are willing to tolerate. Uh, at what point do we stop listening to music or watching films or enjoying art by a person based on what crime they've committed? Um, what artists have committed crimes that we are unaware of that we still enjoy to this day? Um, this project almost raised more questions than, than it answered, to be honest. Um, but it's been deeply gratifying to work on and I really think that it's going to say something uh, and add something to the national dialogue about Me Too, about abuse within the Catholic Church, many of these issues going around right now. Um, I, I really hope that this work has something, something meaningful to add to the discourse. Nicola.